If you're dying to know how to get that clear, poreless skin your favorite models have, Pop Sugar Beauty reporter Kirby Johnson has the scoop and a nifty DIY. Yes, Becca, so we all want that poreless looking skin and actually Carly Kloss recently came out and said that she loves Fiore pore strips, which she is awesome. She revealed, I mean, models, they're just like us. Yes, they are. And you know, Chrissy Teigen, she has been on Instagram showing that she loves her pore strips too. So She's not afraid. She is not. The good news is that these pore strips, they are drugstore buys, so they're not gonna break the bank. However, you can also make them at home too. So if they're not gonna break the bank, then why do them at home? Okay, so we're finding that sometimes pore strips, they can contain parabens. Mm. So if you are concerned about what you're putting on your face and you wanna know what's exactly going into your pore strip, this is a really nice alternative. Knowledge is power, even in beauty. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so what do we need? All right, this is so simple, anybody could do it. You just wanna get one tablespoon of unflavored gelatin, all right? You're gonna mix it with one and a half tablespoons of milk or yogurt. I like milk. Okay, um, now why the dairy? Okay, so dairy is great for your skin. Dairy contains lactic acid. Lactic acid is not a scary acid, it's actually a great acid for your skin because it mildly exfoliates. Then, when it mixes with the gelatin, that gelatin is gonna harden and help to pull out those blackheads. Oh, okay, so it releases all the dirt and nasty stuff in your skin. Exactly. The gelatin can just grab it. Exactly. All right, so once you have these two mixed together, just mix it with a spoon. Then you wanna heat it up, because right now you can tell it's a, like a jello like It's kind of like a paste, yeah. Exactly, and you don't want that. You want it to be liquidy. So put it in the microwave for a few minutes, maybe put it on the stove, make sure it gets to that nice liquid consistency. Mm -hmm. Then using a makeup brush for the added spa component. Of course. Put it on your nose, put it on your chin, wherever you think you might have a blackhead. Leave it on for about 10 minutes, and then Get ready for it to harden and peel it right off. Mm. All right, just a friendly tip, this is definitely not vegan. So if you are vegan, maybe just opt for the store-bought pore strips. And also, use common sense. Don't put this on over makeup. Yeah, because it won't Clean work. Exactly. And wait for it to cool down. Yeah. <laughs> no scalding hot pore strips. Exactly, we don't want the chemical peel reaction from this, okay? Don't actually strip your skin off. Exactly. All right, thanks so much, Kirby.